very good morning to one and all present here. I welcome you all for this wonderful session on leadership during crisis. A privilege and honor to introduce the speaker of the day, great leader with a very, very rich experience and vibrant personality which you will realize in some time, right? To speak about the leadership during crisis. So innovation, managing change, dynamism, and strengthening and empowering the bottom of the pyramid are some of his uh, passion. He is an economic graduate, right, and did his post-graduation and worked as a teacher also in the RV group of institutions, NMK RV. Professor Bang and uh, Deepthi asked me to speak on leadership during a crisis. When is the first time we face a crisis? To my mind, after having interacted, uh, spoken, and uh, the first crisis is when we come out of our mother's womb. That's the first crisis that we face. <laughs> So then the first case of coronavirus hitting our police constable came from Felderton police station. And that was the time when all of everybody got an up. Policemen think that they are very, very brave and nothing is going to happen to them over there. When our first casualty came, they were very shocked. And then I, when I told the chief, hey, Dri, Ushara Gilatala. So English Ushara Gilatala, Ushara Gilatala. And every day people are there at the check post. At 750 check posts, we had blocked roads over there, and then we had to send back traffic for the Constant interaction. Despite that, for about a month and a half, nobody else. First casualty came from there over there. Then we got him admitted again. So, everybody, my own, not the citizen of Bangalore, my own people were watching how is the commissioner going to treat us if we become victims. Mm -hmm. And in the meanwhile, when the corona figures were climbing, the family members of a police person were saying, why are you going there? Come home. If you are not there, we think work is going to come to a standstill. So in all this period, so that's why we had to keep our own people in the best condition. Even when you are performing the leadership role, your key people on whom you rely, you have to take very good care of them. They may make mistakes, or they may want to quit, they may be influenced. But your role as a leader is to keep up their morale and to ensure that they stick around and you are not isolated. Most problems take place when the leader has become alone. That is the, what we call the disease of the leader. The disease of the leader is loneliness and being alone. And if you think that it's a privilege, I'm sorry, your leadership role has gone for a six. The disease of leadership is loneliness and being alone. You should always be surrounded with capable and good people, not people who keep on appreciating you. People who give you a fair amount of criticism are your best friends. So that is the time we had to ensure that how to take care of this Guru Swami when he is in Victoria Hospital. So I ensured that I thought that this is not going to end with Guru Swami. It's going to happen more and more. And after the first casualty which came to the hospital over there, his inspector spoke to him and his ACP spoke and his DCP spoke and within about uh, uh, within about 15 days uh, he was uh, discharged and I also went to Victoria Hospital we thanked the doctors and after thanking the doctors and we gave a huge housing welcome. So everybody realized that okay, the CP and the staff, top leadership is with us. 